today we are talking about uh, early detection of breast lump. When we talk about early detection of breast lump in women, we also talk about early detection of breast lump in men. It's not only women that develop breast lump. I've seen and I've treated most men who also have breast uh, lump. So we want to find a solution to the problem with natural health. That's the, the, the reason why we have started this program. Now, what are the causes of lump? Well, in some countries of the world, those people were living their normal long life until the advent of seaports sea ports in their area. When those seaports arrived, they started bringing in artificial food into the country. So when those people started buying and living on artificial synthetic food, they decided to develop tumors, necrosis, and cell deaths. Some of these tumors, necrosis, and cell deaths, sometimes they proliferate into some internal organs of the body. They can come to any organ of the body and then spread to some areas. When it comes to breast lump, it starts to shape sharp pain at the back of the spine. It can be here, it can be there. It will start with sharp pain. The sharp pain will be there after some time. It can start spreading to some internal organs like the breast. It will first come up like boil. We're not saying that every, every lump in the breast is, is cancer or that is tumor. But some, some that are coming up, watch it. Once there is sight of tumor, especially in the breast, the breast is very delicate. You don't have to hide it. Don't hide it because the bad cases we have had in the past is because those people told me before they left this world that they have heard and they have seen that there are no solutions to breast lump. And so when they had it, they have to close their mouth because they have already signed their death warrant. And I told them, why are you telling me this story at this time around that I'm disappointed? Now, if you have breast lump, raise an alarm. Tell everybody around you. Look for solution in any country where you are. But here in Nigeria, here in, in natural medicine, here in Glory Queen, what we do is once we notice that there is early detection of tumor, lump in your breast, we first of all use Nigerian seed. We use this seed. When we use the seed and detoxify the system, we now place you on herbs on subsequent days. The herbs we are going to place you on is one stone breaker. Philanthus amarus, we, can, we combine it with uh, aloe vera. Philanthus amarus and aloe vera. Why this one is called stone breaker? That's the popular name. It's because it even breaks um, gallbladder stones, kidney stones, and some other stones of the internal organ. So to the breast is a very minor case. When you combine it with aloe vera, it breaks the stones, it dissolves them. They, you, will, you will ask me, is it going to knock it with hammer? No. It will dissolve naturally, mix up with the blood and the pulses. If there are, it will be reabsorbed into the system and then excreted out of the body through the body defense mechanism. For instance, let me give you an example. If you get, I'll do it later in my program. Get a little bit of aloe vera. Wash it properly. You chew it. I'll chew it later for you, not now. After chewing it, you sleep at night. You wake up in the morning. You do like this. <coughs> You will expel some tissues of your skin, some growths that are already in the head, in the breast, maybe in the chest. They will come out from your mouth like this, which when you bring them, you see tissues like this. That's what's happened. But this time around, we are saying you will combine aloe vera with stone breaker, that is the uh, philanthus amarus. When you combine the two together, you take them on subsequent days, waiting, af waiting for another six, seven days. After that seven days, you now take another Nigerian seed. That Nigerian seed which works for eight hours, and then after that eight hours, it will, you will take your baths, and it will stop. That's how to, that's the antidote to the drug, because every drug has its antidote. Just like uh, in cases of chloroquine, you use periton. So in cases of uh, this uh, Nigerian seed, you use just bathing water and your soap, and then the, the, the effect of the drug will go down. Then after using it for four days and it disappears and the lump is no more there, the next step you are going to take is to live on food replacement therapy. Live on natural food. Eat natural food 
avoid too much intake of meat, too much intake of bread, too much intake of, intake of cake, sweet mouth, and some of these artificial food. But there is another thing you should think about. When you have this tumor, what must have caused it? Tumor can be caused by all those things I have told you, like artificial food, like too much intake of synthetic food. But don't forget, if you go for uh, examination and the biopsy has been taken, it's taken already, there could be cell mutation, no? there could be the generation of the cells. So, because once there is cell mutation and the generation of the cells, that's where the breast gets abnormal. And when it gets abnormal, that means the breast becomes uncontrollable. Because if the DNA of the body is scrambled, the cell no longer retains its contained factor, there will be cell mutation and spawning of plague. That's why when you first go for biopsy, that means they must have scrambled some of the cells. And if it is malignant, because there are two types of tumor, it can be cancerous, that's malignant, it can be benign, that's not cancerous. So what of if it is malignant? That means your breast will have to go. And if your breast will have to go, my dear, fine. I'm not in that field, but what I am trying to tell you today is how to prevent breast lump, how to treat it at sight. Immediately you discover it, how not to hide your mouth before it becomes a hopeless case. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.